welcome to this week's episode of Atlanta Delivers, something a bit different on my channel. If you don't know me, uh, I go to Benidorm a lot, many months of the year, and I absolutely love it here. So I've got quite a good knowledge. I'm going to take you on a walk down the strip. We're starting at the I class as, as the bottom end of the strip because we've just been for tapas in the old town. So we're on the old town side and we're going to take a walk the whole way up. Going to talk to you about the places on the strip, prices, acts, everything you need to know and just show you what the strip is like. We're filming this at like five half five in the evening and it is a Sunday today so it's going to be fairly busy but quite a quiet time compared to later at night if you enjoy the video please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and let's take our walk on so first place next to me here is the Rockstar. I've only been there once, I think, but the prices were pretty reasonable. It's got a good atmosphere. They do have like the sport playing on a big TV as well. And they also have stuff for stag dudes and stuff that you can hire in there. It's a nice little venue. So up next to us is Jumping Jacks just over here. I've been here quite a few times and this is known for being one of the cheaper places in Benidorm on the Strip. At, it's more of a daytime place that so everyone sits outside in the sun, few drinks and yeah, it, it's nice. They've got the mist going at the moment where the weather is quite warm. It's not too bad, but it is still warm and people waving. <laughs> and then we won't show this place. This is, um, actually no, you can show it. I don't know anything about it, but for uh, the men and women to go to, I'd say. And then if you turn around now, this is a little supermarket. This is a nice supermarket. They do follow me on TikTok. Um, it's good. They sell everything. You can get your t-shirts, your classic Benidorm t-shirts for only seven euros, I think it is. I've got one of them. The good girls go to heaven, bad girls go to Benidorm. I've got one myself. And next door is owned by them also the best kebab in Benidorm. I will put that out as a statement. Kebabish masala opposite Jumping Jacks. Best kebab in Benidorm for sure. Hello, you all right? You okay? Uh, yeah, I was just saying, best kebab in Benidorm. <laughs> so yeah, they're always really lovely. They follow me on TikTok here as well. Um, they're best kebab for sure. Prices are reasonable, open till late. I did have last time as well, I had some of the Indian food as well, which was nice. <laughs> Thank you, see you soon. They are very lovely. Like then, that guy, I don't think that guy knows me. Maybe he does. But he was like, hi, come in. Like, and just saw we were filming. Very nice. This is a, a shutdown place or I don't know what's going on there. Opposite, you've got the Flamingo Bar. I've never actually been in there, um, but it's always pretty busy. Good music. And behind you here, you've got the Winning Post, which does food. They've got sports on, reasonable prices. Um, have I eaten there? I don't think so. I've eaten next door, but I know the prices are decent here. It's got nothing like special, but good food, easy food. Next door, you've got the Yorkshire Pride. There's three in Benidorm, and this is one of them. And I have eaten here a few, a few times and in the other Yorkshire Prides as well. Really good prices, cheap, quick food. It, nothing again, nothing amazing, but quick and easy food. We've got a little traffic jam going on here. Mobility scooters. My mum's stuck currently. <laughs> we keep going. We're going to get to a bit more louder now as we go down. Um, Planet Benidorm here. I've been here once. This is a strip that I haven't, like the other end is where I spend most of my time. This is, woo! <laughs> oh, <laughs> luckily I am not on a live stream of that because I would be banned right now. I've drunk there once. Uh, prices were okay, I think. Not the cheapest, but okay. And then opposite, you've got the White Star. I went there a couple of weeks ago. I think for the first time, I watched a tribute to Pitbull in there. Um, he was really good. I want to watch him again this holiday. Prices were a little high. Yeah, they were a little high in there. Some places, you've got to know where the cheap places are. When I say a little high, still cheaper than back home in the UK. Tiki City here, um, I have never drunk in there. But I've heard they do good cocktails, unsure on the prices. This is like the drinking end, I'd say. Up the other end is where all the acts are and the clubs and all, yeah, all the acts which I love to watch. I think it's more up the other end rather than this end. 
Um, you've got the Marina Hotel there, very, very popular hotel, known for, well, a bit of controversy recently because they do their pool parties, um, but they now charge you, which they never used to. So I don't think they're that busy anymore. <laughs> and you've got the Dublin House, the Irish bars, the Shamrock Irish pub here. I was here on St. Patrick's Day this year and I was in the Shamrock, the Irish pub, and it was packed, absolutely packed. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good bar. I think the price was good. I, it's hard to judge because it was so busy. Um, that was a crazy time, everyone in green. Apart from I wasn't meant to be there, so I was the, like the only one not in green. I bought like a little, what's it called? Lanyard thingy, flowers. Can't think what it's called. Um, up here, you've got the secret fountain, which is a roof bar garden. Um, I still haven't managed to go there either. You're gonna, <laughs> there he is. And so we'll go over here. So this is the railway over here. This is a new bar that opened like um, a few months ago now. And it is a very Hello. nice bar. Hello. Hello. We're filming. <laughs> Later. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Two pints, three euros. Yeah. Welcome to you. Yeah, we love it. I do love the railway. I was there last night. They have some acts on. It is a new new bar. It's very cool. Um, watched Emmy Sax last night, which is uh, one guy on the drums, one guy saxophonist, and it's very, very good. And um, they have other acts in there as well. It is a club, but it's really cool. I do love it there. So where we're coming up to now is the the main square, the British main square. So we'll take a walk down this way first, and then we will go up the other end. So you've got Broadway here. Um, quite expensive. They do have acts on inside. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. <laughs> it's a vibe. And then over here, this looks very different at night. You've got Chaplin's, I was here last night. This is known for some of the more adult shows. Um, prices are pretty reasonable in there. We were in there last night, me and my dad watching a midget show. <laughs> he was loving it. Um, I, you can't look at a lot of this. They're, they're more the adult shows, um, but it is a good venue. Prices are all right as well. That's kind of it of this end of the main square. The other end is more like the clubby. We'll go up there. Um, and like I said, at night, it is a very different vibe and looks very different at night time to what it looks like now, that's for sure. Yay, come on, Mum. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Look at mum. She's having a little little dance on the scooter. So we'll go up the other end and I'll um up here and show you the other end of the square. Imagine at night this is packed with people. <laughs> right now none of it's open until later. Um, but this is like the main square. I was here all last night. So first place you've got here is the beach coma. Um, I absolutely love the beach coma. Great music, always such a good vibe. Prices are a bit high um, because obviously you're in a club, but I do love it. It's one of my favorite clubs it is. Good music, they've always got a DJ on. It's always just, it's good, it's good. Du, 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 du. We're about to come up to like the most famous place I'd say in Benidorm as bars. Um, not quite yet. Over here we've got the Hypnodrome. Hippodrome. I always pronounce that wrong. I was in there last night as well. Again, prices, they're okay. It's not you're not gonna have the cheapest in this area. When we get down the other end, I'll tell you some of the cheaper places. Um, but this is the Hippodrome. You have the women up there dancing at night. You've got the bar area outside and then you have the bar area inside. And you've got music, DJ. I think, yeah, they do have some shows on as well. And then over here, you've got the Bahamas. Um, I've been in there a couple of times. <laughs> um, the Bahamas, which a couple of times, again, very similar vibes to Hip Hippodrome. Music, drinks, that's kind of what it is. Behind you is Champions. Again, I'm gonna say very similar. Shows on. Um, Drinks, again, gonna be around the same prices. This is your like nighttime area. And then to the most famous place, I'd say, 
Café Benidorm. This is known the most. I do like Café Benidorm. They have lots of acts. I can show you these acts on who are on tonight. So tonight you have 9 p.m. I was going to say a.m. Uh, you've got ABBA, who I'm friends with. They're lovely. And um, then you've got the Drifters, what shows before? 11, the Benidorm, fantastic. Oh, they're performing here. Have I watched them? I have watched them, I think, at Morgan Tavern. And then 12 is Take That, a classic in Benidorm to watch. You've got this outside area bar, and then inside, it's very big. You've got your stage area, well, floor area, and then there's two bars inside as well. Prices, again, very similar to this whole area. We're gonna walk back down out of this main square. This is known as the British Square. Um, but I have been, I've been in Beachcomber until 9am one time and it was all Spanish at that time. The British are, are out of it by that time. Um, so it was all Spanish, Spanish music and everything, which was pretty cool actually. Although staying out till 9am is not cool. I was out till 7 last night, uh, this morning. Bit rough today, can't lie. <laughs> Make sure as well, whilst you're here, to give my Instagram a follow, Atlanta Delivers. So I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers, and I'm only 100 away, so if you could follow that, I love you lots. <laughs> Look, you can see here the railway, the train coming out of the side here. It's pretty cool. I do like it. The, the railway is cheaper than the other bars here, uh, for sure. Like the guy said, two, for three, two beers for three euros. They have, like, two vodka drinks for six euros. Three shots, you can't really go wrong. <laughs> right, and now let's walk up the strip. Um, this is, becomes more of a familiar area for myself as we get further up. <laughs> He just plays the song on repeat. Oh. <laughs> so here on the left, you've got Queen's Arms. Um, they do karaoke, I believe, there. I have been in there a couple of times. I think the prices are pretty reasonable. No shows there, I don't think. KFC on the other side. If you need some KFC, you got it. But... Over in Benidorm, the food and everything's so cheap. Um, a KFC is more expensive than going out for a meal here. For like, definitely. There's so many good food places. If you do like Benidorm, if you haven't been, or if you have been, you'll know. Food prices here and drinks are so cheap. Really cheap to eat and drink here. Over here, you've got the Rose and Crown. They do karaoke here. Um, I think they have some shows on. Oh, he's waving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what's going on here. Hello. <laughs> here we have Rockies. Okay. I'm here. We're, we're filming YouTube video. It is busy. This is where I first ever tried normal gin. Normal gin. No. Normal vodka. What did I try normal here? Vodka. I tried either normal gin or normal vodka here for the first time. It's a good bar, prices are good here. They, yeah. They do, it's alright, it's my mum. <laughs> they do karaoke here, I've done karaoke in here before. Um, it's busy in here compared to other places, it does seem pretty busy here at the minute. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> see you in a bit, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Um, he's a follower of mine, but I've met him a few times now, and he doesn't live that far away from me. Oh, that's a vibe. <laughs> um, cheap shoe shop over here. If you need some shoes, you can get shoes for like one ninety nine, two ninety nine. It's uh, cheap if you need some. Whatever you need, get your shoes, boots. Flip flops, it's good. So then you've got this area here, which you've got the Presidente Hotel just up here, which underneath has the Philippines 10, uh, which is a cabaret venue, lots of different acts on every night. Prices are expensive in there. And then behind you've got the Outback Aussie Bar, which is a karaoke bar. Been in there a couple of times. Loch Ness, I'm always, they always try and get me to go in there and I've still never been in there. Maybe I will at some point. 
Um, so I don't really know what that's like. And then one of the most famous, I'd say, the Red Lion. Apart from Cafe B, I would say Red Lion's second most famous. I have spent a lot of time in the Red Lion. Like, a lot of my life has been in the Red Lion. Um, their prices are okay, not the cheapest, but they're okay. Um, they always have, they either have Axon tonight, they've got, they have the hypnotist show here, um, which is really good. Gareth Fulton, good friend, um, he's really funny. You've got the ball here that's open at night. And then what shows have we got on tonight? Uh, we've got Robin Blackman, which does live guitarist. Emmy Sachs, who we saw last night, which I absolutely love. Then we've got some inappropriate shows on after that. Um, they've recently, this year, redone it all. Um, it is a great little venue. Um, and yeah, when there's not acts on, the music here is really good. I, I've spent a lot of time dancing inside there. <laughs> they have lots of different acts on as well. They swap it up. Um, yeah, great venue. And then over here is Rockefellers. Again, spent a lot of time here. Another cabaret venue. Um, let's have a look who's on tonight. The acts do change a little bit. Some of them are regular acts that are always on. And um, tonight we've got 8 p.m. Adele, who's very good. Nine, Pink. Pink is one of the best in Benidorm, I'd say. She is incredible. Then you've got Tony Scott, who's, I believe, just that Rockefellers comedian. Very funny, uh, very savage like probably in the most in Benidorm. And then you've got 12, you've got Lady Gaga, and 130, you've got the famous Sticky Vicky, um, which I feel like you should know, Sticky Vicky. Um, it's her daughter that now does it, rather than her mum who did it for like 30 years, 40 years, long time, and now the daughter does it. I don't know why I'm walking in the middle of the road, but I can see if a car's coming towards me, so it's all good. <laughs> Jail Rock, I haven't still been into that. I don't know why I've not been in there, but I haven't. And then you've got Insomnia Next Door, the nightclub, which they recently, well, this year, last year, redid it all. It's changed from Stardust to Insomnia, which I prefer it so much more now. Drinks are expensive in here, though, as I did learn a couple of weeks ago. Um, it does cost a lot in there. But it is a great venue. They have some acts on, but it is more of a club vibe and music. Over here, you've got the Crown Pub. I've spent a lot of time in there as well. Good venue, they have live acts on. Prices are pretty reasonable. I've got nothing bad to say about there at all. It's a pretty good venue. They've got anyone on tonight? Doesn't show that they've got anyone on tonight, but I'm sure they will do. And then now to this side, we've got Hotel California, which again has live acts on, live music. Prices are pretty reasonable. If you're staying at any of the hotels of the ambassador group, so like the Philippines ambassador, um, I can't think where else, it'll be on your room card. You get discount at all these places if you show your room card, um, which is pretty handy. Oh yeah, they've got acts on over there tonight. And then you've got Western Saloon. Me and my parents have spent lots of time in here. Great venue, it's in the name, it's a saloon. Prices again aren't too bad. They have lots of live acts on all like Western, rock and roll, that type of thing. Um, it's quite, yeah, it's a really good venue. Um, I don't know who's on at the moment. Four, Robin Blackman and Rebecca Smith, I think it is. If that's the time, no, it's five, isn't it? Rob Richards, there's people waving. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a great venue, definitely. Here, the Ambassador, my favourite hotel in Benidorm, um, which I've stayed a lot at. I haven't in recent times because the prices are quite high at the minute. This is the Ambassador Player 2 and next door is the Ambassador Player 1. Technically separate hotels, but um, all the food and everything is in the same place. I'm going to put the Why Not Bar as the cheapest drinks in Benidorm. So you've got not the outside bar, I've never sat at the outside bit, but later at night the karaoke bar opens just down the side. Um, I think it opens from about 8 p.m. And yeah, you have karaoke and the drinks are very cheap. I do like it there, spent a lot of time in there. It's quite, it's a bit of a quieter venue, which is quite nice. And like for myself, when I come on my own, I often start a night in there where it's just quiet, chill, cheap, and then move on to somewhere else after a few drinks. 
few different shops and food places. Um, never eaten there, but I'm sure it's okay. I'd say with the shops, either probably find a shop that has prices, otherwise obviously they can just charge you whatever you what they want. Um, so like this one has no prices, so I personally wouldn't. Or if you like really going to, just ask the prices beforehand. Um, famous JJ's here, which is quiet at the minute. Normally this is packed. The food is very cheap. It's okay, not the best, but I've eaten there many times. Um, yeah, pretty cheap, quick food. Um, yeah, can't go too wrong. <laughs> And then to the right coming up, you have the Palladium and the Black Chicken. This is a food place here, but just down the side, down here, you've got the Black Chicken, which is a karaoke bar, a bit crazy, known for kind of hen do's, stag do's, bit of a crazy one, but cheap drinks, which is good. And then the Palladium next door is a cabaret venue. Um, prices are pretty reasonable, lots of good acts. Karaoke every day, two till 8 p.m. And then acts which you've got up here tonight, Neil Diamond, Levi G, Gary George, comedian and sticky vicky is the lineup for tonight so yeah that is a great venue i spent many times a lot of time in there ad does the karaoke a very good friend of mine except from wednesdays and thursdays he's hosted and he's such a nice guy so if you go in there say hi to ad and say i answer sent you <laughs> we're actually going to go in a minute we're going to go into there and see ad probably not sing just have a little drink Say hi to AD because we love him and my parents sadly go home tomorrow. I don't, I only got here yesterday. Then behind me is Waikiki. Um, good cocktails, price are pretty reasonable. I've watched a live act outside before. And then down the side here, you've got Talk of the Coast and Valentine's, both cabaret venues. Again, prices are pretty good. The acts are very good. Um, they've recently, I'm gonna hopefully take my dad tonight, M&M's on 1 a.m. every day at Talk of the Coast, which is here, and he is insane, like really good. Okay, you can see it on here if he's on, oh, I thought my dad fell over. Okay, so here you've got Ben Jackson, Jersey Boys, Jimmy Bright, the Cab, Cab I can't pronounce that, Cabby Two Brothers, I've seen all of these, The Drifters, and then Eminem. <coughs> Eminem is definitely worth seeing. He's also in Black Eyed Peas, which is my favourite act in Benidorm. And then he also does Ed Sheeran, which I've not watched yet. And then Valentine's Next Door has got um, different cabaret acts on every night as well. This has also been redone this year. They shut for, I want to say over six months. It's a long time they were redoing it. So this is the top end of the strip. This is like the area that I've probably spent the most time in and know the most. So you've got the last stop here on the right, which is a karaoke bar. Prices are a little bit higher, um, but not too bad. And you've got karaoke every night. They're watching the football at the moment, I think that is, yeah. They do play the sports absolutely everywhere. A lot of people do love watching the sports here. And then you've got the famous Morgan Tavern known as Neptunes in the Benidorm series. So tonight you've got on, who have we got on? Ben Ashley, Tina Turner, Reggae Show, Liam Gallagher, Tribute Show, UB40 Reggae Music, Queen, Take That, and then Matt Fisher. I have spent many nights ended in here watching Matt Fisher at 2 a.m. who just does all like the party anthems. Um, worth seeing Queen on every night at 12. The sound system in here is insane and they are very talented. So Queen is definitely, oh, they're not on on a Tuesday now. Oh, they're having a day off crazy they never used to have a day off he's definitely um he they are definitely worth seeing You've got the posters here and then you can see from the benadorm series here of neptunes which is where we are now of what it looked like and then i'm going to end it on over here the white building over there is the solana the sol pelicanus the famous solana from the benadorm series is what that is just over there I'm gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed the video of the strip. I realized I did say quite a lot of places are expensive, but like in comparison to other places, hopefully you could work out what I said was a bit cheaper, but I feel like I said a lot was more expensive. But like the main square, basically, the prices are higher up the other end. The rest, you're gonna be fine. 
Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next Sunday at 10 a.m. with a new video. Also, one more thing, actually. If you want to see my videos 24 hours early, Saturday at 10 a.m., top line of the description, you can sign up as a member. But it has to be done on the website, not the app. I love you all, and I'll see you soon.